I'm with Lancaster Lo- manager Sandy McLean after the dramatic penalty shootout win of a Pollock. Um, fabulous victory for you, Sandy. Um, where did it go right? It just went right with the players, the players' attitudes, how we played, we weathered everything they threw at us, and then we, we, we've got ourselves in the game. And two, two really good goals for Big Nicky again. And then we had to weather the storm at the end, obviously, we were down to ten men and nine men. But hey, it's, it's just one of those days that the players worked really, really hard. We, we restricted them to, to, I think, very few chances. And again, if you look at Connick's hard the saving match, I think he's won in the first half. Other than that, he's, he's really not done very much. What is it with Largs and refereeing problems at Pollock? You had four players sent off a few years ago. Today we had two players sent off and it was uh, pretty feisty at the end once more. I feel a bit sorry for both players today. You know, Gus to me, I, I, you know, obviously you don't have the, the, the replay um, hindsight, but looking at Gus, Gus has played the ball and he's trying to jump over the guy. The guy's tried to get back in the game quickly and lifted his head, and, and I think Gus has caught the top of his head. So can you, can you say that's a deliberate? I'm not so sure. Barry's been sent off for two verbal offences, which, do you know, I don't know, was that payback? I'm not sure. I don't know. You know, in another day, Barry doesn't even get a yellow card. In terms of, uh, I, I, I had a few. I had a terrible feeling. Say, I thought things are going against Logs, the red cards, the two goals. It was. It just looked like, and then you head towards a penalty shootout, and you're, you're kind of almost fearing the worst in the way. But they showed great character, scoring all the penalties, and then Stephen putting up with a great save. I think we always rely on Stephen saving at least one, you know. So it gives us a, it gives the team a wee bit of belief that that they know if they score theirs that we'll win the game. So um, you know we can always rely on Stephen to do that. Always rely on him. Yeah. And um, in terms of it, must be quite special from your own point of view to come here and at last get a win. I think it was 1991, uh, 1994 in the Scottish Cup when Lance last won here. No, I didn't know that, Cam. But um, I've got a decent record here as a as a player and a manager. Um, so I always always like playing here. The players like playing here. It's it's a good wee atmosphere. It's usually quite busy, so and um, long may it continue. And hopefully next year we'll beat them home and away. You've got a brilliant talent here, Nicky Little. Two goals again today. Is uh, cons- are you hopeful of keeping him for next season? Well, again, you know, Nicky knows um, that we want him here. We've made we've made him an offer. Um, it's it's down to Nicky. You know, it's really down to Nicky. I don't I don't think there's an issue as far as finances are concerned. It's just really what Nicky wants to do with it now. So. It's, it's up to him and there's, there's little we can't do much more than what we're doing in, 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 since we've came in so uh, it's really up to him and uh, finally two, two big games next uh, weekend um, really it's, it's, a, it's a real grandstand finish it is you know it's a shame we've got two games in, in three days that's, that's a bit of a shocker but nevertheless yeah, they're going to be difficult games not only because they're league games everybody's fighting for, for points but you know, the pitches are, are not the best at Renfrew it's, it's bumpy and tight and you know, um, uh, Thornwood's is bumpy, bumpy and big, so um, it's, it's, it's not going to be easy. But we're in good form and we're in good shape, we're in good spirit, so uh, we'll look forward to it. Yeah.